Hello everyone, Mr. Hendo here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a toilet with a flange repair kit. Before we do that, I want to make sure you check out MrHendo.com. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment them, turn on notifications. That way you'll see every post we do. So let's get into this. We are going to install a toilet, but first we need to repair the flange that is bent. Here's the flange here. You can see me marking off lines with a sharpie because I'm going to cut out the warped areas. If you see the picture on the bottom left, you'll see what a warped flange looks like a little better. I'm using that repair kit that just popped up, so it's going to be a good time. The way I cut this is using this new Dremel I got. This is a Dremel 4000. I got it from Lowe's a couple days ago. It is amazing. I should have bought it before. I got it specifically for this project, but it could have been very useful in previous projects. So I'm simply just going to cut these sides off and then make sure to cut at the actual flange base so it actually removes and you'll see it coming off right there popped it off I'll have to clean up those edges with a exacto knife or a razor this is the flange repair kit I'm kinda just messing with it to try to orientate it in a way that's gonna work so I also want to line it up with the original flange the way the holes originally were so here's a picture of the flange and here is the original flange with the holes and Yes, they do align the way I have it, so I want to make sure I get that thing underneath. Now, some people put this flange repair kit on top of the flange. However, this one I had, I'm going to put underneath. What I wanted to do was match it up to the bowl I'm installing to make sure the holes actually fit as well, so I did that. So I fast-forwarded this, so that way you don't have to see me adjusting this thing. It took me about five minutes to get it adjusted to where I wanted it and to make sure it fit properly. Uh, once we get this thing installed I'm gonna show you how to install a toilet okay so one thing I realized I had to do was cut this top hole bigger uh, I had to do this before I can install the toilet so I'm cutting this top hole to make it wider so that way the repair flange underneath the upper screw head was not going to cause interference with the actual toilet flange so that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting it out in small straight segments and then I'm going to break those PVC segments off. So this is that top screw I was talking about and now that I have the hole bigger I can access it. It's not going to interfere with the flange. I'm just going to tighten it up. So now that all my cuts are finally done I'm going to use my razor here and remove or deburr, take off all that excess so that way it doesn't interfere with any of the mating surfaces. The next very important step in this how to install a toilet video is to dry fit your connection. So the flange is about 90% done and I put the toilet bowl bolts into the flange and now I'm going to fit the toilet bowl to ensure a proper fit. Now I want to do this before I actually screw in the repair flange to the floor. So I'm just making sure everything lines up and is going to fit correctly the way I want it before I screw in the repair kit. So everything looked good in the previous step, so now I'm going to screw in the repair flange to the floor and essentially I'm just using four wood screws, big ones. These were actually the ones that the previous existing flange used, so I'm just reusing them, but you can use any kind of heavy duty wood screws if you're if you're screwing into a wood floor like I am something to notice here also is that I have I do have the toilet bowl bolts installed where I want them in the repair flange as I screw it in it's a lot easier to do it that way you don't want to screw that thing in and then realize you got to fit those bolts underneath so uh, and remember I did dry fit everything to make sure they are in the proper position once they're screwed in, there is a little bit of wiggle room. You could always unscrew it also, but uh, that's something that I did. Okay, here comes one of the most important steps when installing a toilet. It's fitting the wax ring. So this wax ring I have here is actually a big wax ring. What that means, it's, it's called an extender wax ring. It has 40% more wax than your typical wax ring that comes with the toilet. Now, the reason I did this is because I want to fill in those extra gaps that were left from cutting the old flange. If you look at the picture in the top left, you'll notice that the wax ring is going to mate with the toilet 
discharge flange and then direct that discharge to your sewage line and the wax ring is going to be squished and seal that mating surface. So that's why it's important that you get this fitting correctly. Once you have the wax ring positioned where you want it, simply press down on it to let the wax adhere to the flange. Carefully lift your toilet bowl up evenly over the area and position it on top of that wax ring in a manner that the toilet bowl discharge funnel fits into the wax ring to go into your sewage discharge line and ensure that your to toilet holes line up and just press down evenly on all areas to compress that wax ring and form that seal we talked about. Okay, the next step in this how to install a toilet video is to line up your toilet tank with the toilet bowl. This also has a very important flange that we want to make sure mates up properly because otherwise you can have leakage. So that's just the uh, flange that goes from the tank to the bowl itself. So that's what you see me doing here, lining that up. Once you get that lined up, there's three bolts that are going to be installed. Uh, they have a rubber head with a plastic nut. And you want to just fit those in, make sure that they go through to the actual toilet base and screw them in hand tight. The way I like to do it is to alternate a little bit on each one so that way you kind of get an even amount of pressure so that way it seals evenly. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, make sure you understand that you have to go hand tight and then you're supposed to take a wrench and actually go a quarter turn at a time until it stops leaking if it is leaking. So that the, the back one that I installed was leaking for a while and uh, it simply took going a couple quarters of a, t of a turn at a time to stop that. Then I'm removing the water supply line because it's too short and I'm going to replace it. This one is currently 10 inches but I needed about a 13 and a half which they don't make so I had to improvise and you'll see that I used a 20 inch line and kind of just bent it a little bit, left a little kink. For this next step, I had to purchase these white plastic washers in order to create a space below my toilet bowl flange cover base, which that's the base there that I'm installing. Um, the, essentially, it goes the base, then you have the installed metal washer, then you put the nut down, and then once that's tight, you put the curved cover over it to protect it. Now, what I was experiencing was my toilet bowl bolts were protruding too far and therefore the dome piece wasn't able to contact the the base of it to connect because there was the, the bolt was too long so that's why I installed the plastic washers underneath all of that to eliminate that extra bolt room and therefore allow the domed piece to connect to its plastic base so I installed two washers now, I don't know the exact size of these, but if you are curious and you need to know them, I have extras and I will measure them for you. Just go ahead and message me or leave a comment on this video, and I will let you know how big those are. But once those are installed, I'm just going to tighten the toilet bowl nuts down one at a time, alternating every couple turns to get an even tightness. This is important because if you don't keep get this tight, your toilet could essentially move around and you don't want it to do that. Next I'm going to install the new 20 inch supply line that I mentioned earlier. So uh, it has a 3 8 inch nut at the bottom there that connects to the actual water supply and you're just going to tighten that hand tight and then obviously uh, tighten it with a wrench after that. And then you're going to connect it to the toilet bowl. So that's what I'm doing there. Make sure that you do this carefully because you don't want to cross thread any, anything. Now something I did in this is I remembered that the actual toilet tank came with this little black connector. So I wanted to make sure I didn't need that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at it. Okay, do I need this? Nope, I don't because I bought this supply line from the local hardware store. 
Last but not least, in this how to install a toilet with a flange repair kit, we're going to install the toilet seat. To do that, we're going to use the two plastic nuts and bolts and just screw them together hand tight. Once you get those hand tight, go ahead and come in with either a screwdriver or a Phillips head and tighten them all the way. They have on the nuts a little plastic piece to allow you to grip them better. So I'm just screwing them, them together and then once that's done, I'm going to place the toilet bowl lid on and congratulations, we are done with this how to install a toilet video. I hope you liked it. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, leave comments, check out www.mrhendo.com. There should be a corresponding blog post for this video there shortly.